Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator that works for your PC or your Mac, called Visual Boy. Now Visual Boy plays any kind of Game Boy Advance game such as Pokemon or Super Mario Bros. 2, and many more. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so for the first step, well actually this is the pre-step, because this is the step before the step, <laughs> is to make a new folder on your desktop. This is just so everything can just go way more organized. So right click on your screen, scroll down to new, and then make a new folder. Name it something you'd recognize, I'll just name it Game Boy. So after that, you're ready to move on to your next step. Alright, so to get the Visual Boy Advance emulator, you go to this website, CoolRom.com. Now the cool thing, no pun intended, is that this is also where you can get all your games from. Um, to go to this webpage, all the links will be in the description below, or you can put this thing on full resolution and look at the address bar and type that in. Either way, you're going to end up on this page. So once you're here, scroll down and click download now. And this pop-up will appear. If it doesn't appear, it's most likely because you have pop-ups disabled or blocked, whatever. You're going to have to unblock that thing or disable that for this to pop out. Once it pops out and once your timer is over, whatever, click download your file. Once that pops out, it's going to tell you open with or save file. Save your file into that folder you made in the beginning of this video. And yeah, now you're ready to move on to the next step. Alright, so the next step is to download a game. So I'm going to download Pokemon. So I'll click right there where it says ROM search and type in Pokemon. Once that happens, look for a Game Boy Advance or yeah, GBA file. Hold on, I'll show you right here where it could it be. Game Boy Advance, Pokemon Emerald. I'll download that just to show you. So here it is. Um, where is it at? Alright, so scroll down, click download now. Again, you're going to want to save it to that folder on your desktop. So that's what I'll do. Uh, here it is, download my file. Save the file. Uh, desktop. Game Boy. And save. Alright, so now that I have that, now I can finally actually start showing you how to start it. Alright, so now that you finally have those files downloaded, which is the Visual Boy emulator and whatever game you downloaded, what you're going to want to do is extract the files that's in the folder. So right click it and click, and click <laughs> extract here. For the Visual Boy Advance, it'll have two files, the copying and the Visual Boy Advance emulator itself. Once you click the Advance emulator, uh, a VBA file will come out. It's actually just a text file. Don't worry about it and just leave it there. Alright, so that's what the Visual Boy Advance emulator will look like. Now what you're going to want to do is extract your game file. So whatever game you downloaded, right click on it and click extract here also. Now I downloaded Pokemon Emerald, so there it is. Pokemon Emerald.gba. Now to start it, go to your Visual Boy, click File, Open, and go to that folder that you have the game saved in. I have it on the desktop and on the Game Boy file. Click Open, and there it is. Pokemon Emerald.gba, click open, and ta-da, you now have the game done. Sorry, I forgot the sound was then enabled. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, if you guys have any constructive criticism on this video, please leave it in the comment, because the more constructive criticism I get, the more better my tutorials will get. So, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you that... When you close it down, it'll automatic, automatically make a save file. So don't worry about it saving or not saving. Um, but if you want to be on the safe side, save it. Go for it. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya.